and it's a daily shooter. And some of you might remember that recently I did a review on this little red dot right here. This is the Holosun HS403G. It's a great little optic, has a very crisp, clear 2 MOA dot, and some amazing features like 50,000 hours of battery life, auto on, auto off, has a low profile uh, battery compartment right here, push button controls. It comes with a T1 style, one third lower co-witness mount, as well as a low profile mount. So I've been very impressed with it. I've been shooting with it several times. I've been able to be pretty accurate with it because that dot is so fine and so crisp. So I wanted to get one for my other rifle. Well, when I went to the Holosun website, uh, I was checking out one particular optic, which is the Holosun HS503C, which is their solar model. Had a little bit of experience with that one because that's the one that my buddy has. Well, when I was looking at that, I found one that honestly goes even a step above the HS503C, and that's the HS515. Okay, I know it's kind of a mouthful here, but this is the Holosun HS515C. This thing literally has everything that you would want in a red dot, including flip-up covers, uh, a kill flash, a quick detach mount. Uh, it has the solar panel on top, so you can actually run this even without a battery. It has auto switch from battery to, um, to the solar panel, and it's just fantastic. So it's a nice little red dot. We're going to throw this on the rifle today, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a little quick unboxing on the table. And then uh, I'll go out and go shooting this weekend. I'll do a little bit of a range review for you. But I wanted to share this red dot with you because, honestly, with the kill flash, flip-out covers, and the quick detach mount, and solar panels, this thing really does have everything. Now, here's the rifle that I'm going to be mounting it on. The reason that I'm going to be switching from this Vortex Crossfire 2 to a red dot is that a lot of the ranges that I go to, places that I shoot, really only go from 100 yards out to maybe 400 to 600 yards total. I tend to shoot around 400 yards, and I can do that just fine with a little red dot. This thing, however, weighs 17.5 ounces, so it weighs just over a pound, and it's really added a lot of that weight to my rifle, especially when you talk about this mount. It's not the greatest mount, and this mount's pretty heavy, too. So I can get rid of this mount, I can get rid of this heavy scope, put on that little red dot, and still get good, accurate shots uh, out to the ranges that I like to shoot at. So a lighter rifle and quicker action. Because the one thing that I didn't mention, or I forgot to mention to you guys, is not only does this have a 2 MOA dot, but you can switch this from a uh, 2 MOA dot to a 1 MOA dot with a 65 MOA circle. Very similar to an EOTech style reticle. So this has two different types of reticles. One for very quick target acquisition and then the 2 MOA which you can use for uh, longer range shooting. So I'm going to be go ahead and switch this out right now and uh, we'll see what it looks like in the end. Let's go to the table. Okay, so we'll start off with a quick unboxing so I can show you guys what comes in the package. And you can see on the front of the box here it does show you the dot and the circle dot reticles, and then you can see our optic right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys how it comes. I have opened this and already put the battery compartment in it. I just want to show you guys how you would receive it. It comes with your instructions on top, so it's important to keep those, especially due to the fact that this has so many functions. Put our desk impact to the side. It comes with a little cleaning cloth, which is nice, and it also comes with your tool. So it comes with two different uh, style Allen style keys, and then you have your optic, which comes mounted on the base. You can see that base right there. And like I said before, this is a quick detach style base. The one thing that I really like is this is actually a locking quick detach mount right here. So in order to get this little lever to pop up, you have to depress this button in the back that moves this little pin out of the way and then you can open this thing up. So it's not going to get caught on your gear at all and you're not going to have any problems with this snagging on anything. So this is what you get right there. And then the extra little battery compartment. This is where your battery goes. Your battery sits right here and then it slides into the side of your optic. So they actually gave you two of those. The one that's already in the optic and then uh, the one, the extra one itself. So here's what we have. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and I'll show you guys some of the features. Now before I get started, I want to tell you guys, if you've already seen the HS503C, the solar model, and you're wondering what the difference is functionality wise between this one and that one, there is zero functionality difference. They function exactly the same. They both have the same solar panels. They have the same dot, the same circle dot. Now, all of the controls are exactly the same. The only difference would be the added features of the quick detach, the flip-up covers, and the kill flash. Those are the things that are extra on this particular model. Otherwise, functionality-wise, they are exactly the same. Okay, so I want to go over a couple things with you. Here you can see the solar panels on top. This is what basically keeps the optic running even if there's not a battery in there. And when there is a battery, 
These solar panels will take over during the day and uh, if it gets too low light, it'll switch over to battery. Now you can switch this over to manual mode. It comes in the package in auto mode, meaning that it's gonna be running off of solar, but you can switch this over to manual mode and just run it off the battery. When you run it off the battery, it has 12 different brightness settings. Uh, it has several for uh, uh, night vision, and then it has just extremely, extremely bright. I mean, I, it just, so bright that during the day in the desert with zero clouds and nice white sand, you can still see the red circle dot and red dot on this particular optic. So very nice features. It has uh, half MOA clicks. The caps are uh, O-ring sealed. They actually have the little tool on the cap. So when you take this off, all you have to do is flip the cap over and uh, use that as its own tool. And you can see that it has the little markings right there that you can use. And so you can use the cap to make the adjustments on the optic. Now the HS515C is also push button controlled. You can see it has push buttons on the side as opposed to the 403G which has it on top and that's due to the solar panels. But these two push buttons basically control everything. They control your brightness level plus and minus as well as switching from manual mode and auto mode. So you wanna use straight battery or battery and solar, you can do that just by holding the button down for a few seconds. And you can also switch from your dot to your circle dot reticle also by holding another one of these buttons down for just a few seconds. So basically all of your controls are handled by these two buttons on the side right here. So very nice and low profile. Now you can see right here, this is what I was talking about before when it comes to this extra little battery component that you see right here. This little cradle holds the battery and it goes down into the side of the optic. Now it is extremely low profile, it's almost non-existent. It has these two little screws here um, that actually, you know what, this does come with a, a small tool that allows you to access that battery compartment. This little tool right here, Basically it just has a small like little screwdriver head on it and then this is actually used as a pry bar so if you want to get that out you can just pry it out right there. But there's your battery compartment and then you can see just below that is our mount. Extremely nice looking mount. This mount right here is, uh, it's, it's fantastic. It has, like I said, it's a QD mount so it allows you to uh, put it on and take it off with just a simple pull of this knob right here. It also locks down to the base so it's not going to get snagged on anything or at least it's not going to get snagged, open up and then come off. So a very nice mount, and I'm really uh, happy with the, the design and style. Hellasun does a really good job at designing these particular optics. Now this red dot does have proprietary flip covers, and it's nice because these flip covers actually go down. So they're not going to get in the way of anything. It's not going to change your sight picture at all. And they actually do rotate, so you're not going to break these at this uh, little hinge at the bottom right here. It's got a very nice, sturdy hinge. And then again, like I said, it does rotate, and you can close these close these up like this and then they have a nice spring to them so they'll just pop right down. Now another feature that I really like on top of the fact that this has the flip covers and the quick detach is the fact that this actually comes with a kill flash. So you can see the kill flash is kind of like this honeycomb thing. It's uh, inside the optic right here and it keeps the flash from returning back uh, to whatever it is you might be shooting at. So as you can see right here, even with my studio lights and I have several of them, it's really keeping that flash down to a minimum. You can kind of see a glare or reflection of one of my studio lights right there. But for the most part, I mean, there's just um, zero glare and it really doesn't affect um, what you see through it. If you look directly through this optic, you can actually just completely see past that uh, little honeycomb shape. So really nice having that kill flash on there. It's just one of those extra options that really does add some value to this optic. This optic comes in at just below $300. And you know what, I've actually seen it for cheaper at different websites, so you kind of got to search around. But um, the, the MSRP for this one is going to be around $300. Uh, depending on what retailer you go to, you might be able to find it for a little bit less. But I think with all these great features and the solar option, it's definitely something you might want to look at. Okay, so here's a look at the circle dot reticle. I have my camera zoomed into the optics, so I'm going to try and pick this up as best as I can for you. But this dot gets extremely bright. If I go ahead and hit those knobs, you can see how bright this thing really gets. And my camera actually likes it when it's bright. It starts to wash out as I get a little bit lower. But as you can see, I can bring this all the way down, really until the point where it disappears for the uh, night vision. But we'll go ahead and bring it back up since that's kind of how the, the camera likes it. And uh, you have a very nice circle dot. It's very good for acquiring your target fast. It's 65 MOA. So if you're going to be using this uh, any type of CQB or home defense scenario, then that 65 MOA dot is going to basically be hitting right on your target pretty fast. And it is parallax free. So let me go ahead and switch this over. My camera doesn't like this one as much. This is the uh, 2 MOA dot. I can assure you that it is a very crisp, very clear 2 MOA dot. My camera kind of flares out here and doesn't want to focus on it very well. It wants to focus on everything else. But you can see that uh, it's very easy to switch just by holding the uh, down button basically for a few seconds. It switches between the two reticles, your standard dot and your circle dot. 
So those are the two reticles right there. Very nice. And uh, I absolutely love the fact that you have the option between the two. Now, this is actually shot with the kill flash on. I didn't want to take that off. I wanted you guys to be able to see. Now, even though I have a black background, or at least this is pointed at a black background, you can see right through that kill flash, no problem. I also wanted to give you guys a look at what the... Uh, the sight picture looks like because you can see right there that there is uh, almost no obstructions in your sight picture. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the optic on the rifle so I can show you guys what it looks like. Now, if you were wondering um, how much weight I'm actually saving between the Vortex scope and this little red dot right here, uh, the weight difference is actually quite a bit. The Vortex scope weighs about 17, 17.1 17 ounces without the mount. And then I think the mount that I'm using is about uh, six ounces. So you can see there that it's it's fairly heavy, whereas this little red dot is only five and a half ounces, including the mount. So it's a, a very nice light little setup, and it's going to basically take almost a pound off of this rifle altogether. Okay, so we have our red dot sight installed, and you can see right here that uh, this little piece does not come up unless you depress this button, and then you can pull it up right there. So this does lock down. I have Magpul 45 degree offset sights. The reason I had these on there was because of the scope. It's a magnified optic, so I wanted to still be able to use iron sights. I'm just gonna leave these on. These are the MBUS Pros, they're metal, they're very good sights, so I'm just gonna leave them on with this red dot, and we'll leave the uh, top of the rail as is. So here's another look at this thing on the rifle. It's very nice looking, it's very light, it's durable. Uh, it has all the features, flip-up caps, kill flash, quick detach, I mean, you name it, solar power. It's really just a fantastic optic and it has a lot of options. I really like the fact that you have the, the circle dot as well as the dot so I can switch between the two and run off solar power or just battery. I mean, they really thought about everything when they designed this. It's very low profile, even the battery caps, or I'm sorry, even the, uh, the turrets are very low profile right there. So a nice optic all around and I'm very excited to get it out and shoot it so I can show you guys a little bit more of a, a range review. But in the meantime, I did want to show you guys what it looks like. And I'll have that range report for you soon. This is a fantastic optic. I really think it looks nice on the rifle, and I'm glad that uh, that Holosun is making optics like this for under six or $700, like some of the aim points. I think you get a lot of the qualities from an aim point in a package that is around $300. Uh, in some, some situations, I would even say better than an aim point because an aim point doesn't come with a lot of these features. So very nice uh, and quality. I can't wait to get it out to the range. I'll share that with you guys when I do. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.